maximum work was done during reversible expansion of a gas. Consider a gas filled in a cylinder and fitted with frictionless piston. The gas is at a state having pressure P1 and volume V1. The gas is allowed to expand isothermally and irreversibly from the initial state P1, V1 to the final state P2, V2. So that the work done in the irreversible process is given by the area under the curve denoted by W suffix irrev. Now the gas is allowed to expand isothermally through two intermediate states P3, V3 and P4, V4. Imagine there are three weights exerting pressure P3, P4 and P2 on the piston so that the pressure of the enclosed gas P1 is in equilibrium with external pressure which is equal to the sum of pressure P3, P4 and P2. Now the weight exerting the pressure P3 was removed from the upper surface of the piston. The pressure inside the gas increases and expands until the pressure of the gas is equal to the external pressure which is the sum of pressure P4 and P2. The final volume attained is V3 from the initial volume V1. The work done by the system during this expansion is equal to the area under the curve between the state P1, V1 to P3, V3 denoted in the graph by an indigo color square. Similarly, now the weight exerting the pressure P4 was removed from the upper surface of the piston. The pressure inside the gas increases and expands until the pressure of the gas is equal to the external pressure P2 and attain a final volume V4 from the initial volume V3. The work done by the system during this expansion is equal to the area under the curve between the state P3, V3 to P4, V4 denoted in the graph by the second indigo color rectangle. Similarly, now the weight exerting the pressure P2 was removed from the piston. The pressure inside the gas increases further and expands until the pressure of the gas is equal to the atmospheric pressure and attain a final volume V2 from the initial volume V4. The work done by the system during this expansion is equal to the area under the curve between the state P4, V4 to P2, V2 denoted in the graph by the third indigo color rectangle. The total work done is given by the sum of work done from the initial state P1, V1 to the intermediate state P3, V3 followed to the intermediate state P4, V4 and finally to the final state P2, V2. And it is denoted by the area under the curve represented in indigo color, which is greater than the work done in irreversible process represented in pink color. If the gas is allowed to reversible isothermal expansion from P1, V1 to P2, V2, then there will be infinite intermediate states and maximum work is uptime. The work done by reversible process is the sum of work done in each small intermediate step shown in the graph and denoted by the sum of small areas under the curve. So the work done by the system in reversible process is always maximum.